didn't get as emotional as Ebony because, as I said in that video, I didn't really experience a great deal of that as a young man growing up in Jamaica, perhaps because I wasn't in that society or the mixing with people that would have shown me that racism. But what I want to expand on, though, what is what I said about education. Education is important unless we just want to continue living the life that we are living and continue just having demonstrations every now and again and a few people saying a few things. And when I say education, I mean going back in history. What people need to understand is that this thing stems from a long time ago, hundreds of years ago. The dehumanization of the black race is where it started. And people will tell you, oh, that's a long time ago. Get over it. No, you don't get over things like that. And the society has not gotten over something like that. I'll skip all the gap between those long years ago and make one point and then go back for it. That lady in the Central Park in, in, in New York, Amy Cooper, I think is her name. If she did not have in her DNA the thought process that she was white, this man is black, if I call a police officer, nine times out of ten he's going to be white and going to be considered right immediately, the black guy will have to prove that he's not guilty and by the time he proves that he's not guilty, he might be dead. She had that in her mind from day one. That is why she said and did what she did. How do you get rid of that in the society? By educating both sides, black and white. I hear people talking about brainwashing. I didn't quite understand as a young man what brainwashing meant. I now understand what brainwashing meant, what it means. We have been brainwashed and not just black people. White people have been brainwashed in different ways. I go back many years, think about religion. You and I are supposed to be Christians. I'm not really a very holy person, <laughs> not a very religious person, that, but that's what we were taught. Look at Jesus Christ, the image that they give you of Jesus Christ. Pale skin, blonde hair, blue eyes. Where Jesus came from, who in that part of the world looks that, that way? But again, that's the brainwashing to show you this is what perfection is. This is what the image of perfection is. If you look at any plays of those days, Judas who betrayed Jesus, he's a black man. Again, brainwashing people into think, oh, he's a black man. He was, he's the bad man. Go through history, Wadi. These lights that are shining on us. You can tell me who invented the light bulb, right? Thomas Edison, right? Everybody knows Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Thomas Edison invented a light bulb with a paper filament. It burnt out in no time at all. Can you tell me who invented the filament that makes these lights shine throughout? Nobody knows because it's a black man. I was not taught in schools. Lewis Howard Latimer invented the carbon filament to allow lights to continuously shine. Who knows that? Everything should be, teach, should be taught. When you go back through the schooling as a young man, I remember my school days. I was never taught anything good about black people. And you cannot have a society that is brought up like that, both white and black, that only teach what's convenient to the teacher. History is written by the conqueror, not by those that are conquered. History is written by the people who do the harm, not by the people who get harmed. And we need to go back and teach both sides of history. And until we do that and educate the entire human race, this thing will not stop. They keep, they keep on telling me there is nothing called white privilege. Give me a break. I don't see any white people going into a store on Oxford Street and being followed. A black man walks in, somebody is following him everywhere he goes. That is basic white privilege. Whether that white person went to rob the place or not, is not going to be thought of that way. And things like that have to change.